This is the worst time to be filming. The sun is high in the sky. You can see I'm squinting. It's incredibly glary. My ND filter is helping, but it's not going to create a great image here this morning. Another thing that's wrong here today is the surfers are too far out in the surf. As a filmer, we can't get the sense of what it's like to be a surfer this morning by filming the surfers directly in the ocean. We are in luck though. We can use our macro and our close-up shot. It's going to bring us into this scene. We need to check the settings on the camera. Press the set button in the middle of the dial. Make sure your movie record size is set to 4K. Make sure your shutter speed is set to 1 over 50, that your lens is fully zoomed out at 15mm so that you can get an aperture of 3.5. You're going to love this. This is so easy. We're going to switch from autofocus to manual focus. That might seem scary, but honestly, this is so easy. So we click on the left hand side of the dial. It flips between autofocus and manual focus. We want it on manual focus. We're going to turn on focus peaking. It's a great tool that it will help us get our objects into focus. So we go to menu, into shooting settings, go to the fifth tab along and MF peaking settings, manual focus peaking settings. Make sure it's turned to on. The level is high and you can choose your color. I choose red because I find it is the most visible. Let's switch it in this case to blue, uh, just because the strawberry that we're focusing on is red. But normally I'll just keep it on red, even with a red strawberry like this. Now what we're looking for on the screen is any areas that are blue are in focus. And we can see already that there are areas already lit up in blue. So we know that that strawberry is in focus. Focus ring on the 15 to 45 mil is this ring here. Because we're in manual mode, we can spin that as much as we want. With autofocus, the motors control that. But now that we're in manual mode, we can spin it as much as we want. To learn manual focusing faster, we're going to set a really shallow focus length. So as short as possible between the lens and the object. To do that, we spin this focus ring to the left as far as it will go. It has no stop on it, so this will spin forever, but on the screen, it will list it as being the shortest possible focus distance. Instead of spinning the focus dial to bring the strawberry into focus, we're going to move the camera backwards and forwards until it's in the right spot. And you'll notice that a wave of blue will move over the strawberry, and that is the area that's in focus. So if I wanted the front of the strawberry to be in focus, I would bring the blue to there. If I wanted the middle, I would move it to there. And if I wanted more of the leaf at the back to be in focus, I would push it further, just a little bit further forward. That seems pretty good. It's in focus. So now I'm ready for the shot. And that's the key here. We want to move the camera or an object closer to the camera rather than messing around with the manual focus. We've set that manual focus to be as close as possible. Now we move an object closer to the screen and this will really bring us into the scene. It gives us that human texture. Now that we know this focal distance, we can move the object or we can move the camera. So in this case, I might do a tilt and move above the object as I move around it. Always maintaining that same distance around the object. You can use the movement of the camera to bring an object into focus slowly. So in this shot we can see that the chopping board is in focus but the strawberry is out of focus. And we can see the focus peaking halfway along the chopping board. And as I move the camera forward, the peaking will move close to the strawberry until the strawberry is in focus. This is a great technique if you're outside and the overall environment doesn't have a foreground, a middle ground and a background. You can create that foreground and background using this technique. And it's that easy for you to create your first manually focused video on the Canon M50. The surfers are too far away, but this surfboard might help bring us into the scene. You can almost feel the sand between our toes, the smell of melting wax. As we bury our wet face in a warm beach towel. Because close-ups 
give us a human connection. This is the fifth episode in the series. I'm getting better, you're getting better, and there's so much more to come. Leave a comment, subscribe. I've really been enjoying your comments. Subscribe to find out when the next video hits. Those close-ups really take you there. Those creamy backgrounds, those blurry backgrounds are possible with this kit lens from Canon. I've got an ND filter on it. You'll need that if you're shooting outside. If you don't have an ND filter and you want to practice that technique, then shoot in a brightly lit spot that doesn't have direct sunlight, something like the interior of a car, anywhere where there's shade, and you'll get really similar results. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I've really enjoyed your comments, so keep them flowing. Talk to you soon. Bye now.